The aim of this exercise is twofold. First of all, try and derive this integral representation for the Hermit polynomial of order n. And then, as a bonus, use this particular form, this integral representation, to directly substitute into the differential equation and see if you end up with uh, zero. So pause the video, follow these instructions, and try and derive this representation over here. So the instructions are to take the contour integral over um, an integral over the contour which encircles the origin of our generating function, which is exponential minus t squared plus 2tx, generating function multiplied by t to the power of minus k minus 1 dt. We also know that we can expand this first factor here, namely our generating function in the Laurent series, where the coefficients are the Hermit's polynomials. So let's do just that. We have a sum n from 0 to infinity, Hermit's polynomial of order n, e to the power of n divided by n factorial. So this is the expansion of this first factor. We should not forget about the second factor, obviously t to the power minus k minus 1 dt. Let's have a closer look at this thing over here. So we can obviously exchange integration and summation. And then we see that the only thing that matters is this power of t here. So all of the integrals are of the form t raised to a certain power. And we know since a long time ago what the result of that is. Most of the time, the result of such an integral will be zero except in the situation where the exponent is minus 1. So the whole summation reduces to a single term, namely a term where the exponent, which is n minus k minus 1, where the exponent equals minus 1. So we should only worry about the term where n is equal to k. And in that case, we also know that the result of the integral is 2 pi j. We should not forget, obviously, the factors in front of our power of t. So that becomes hkx divided by k factorial, because n is equal to k. So just combining these two pieces of information gives us the end result that we can write a Hermit's polynomial of order k as k factorial divided by 2 pi j, contour integral exponential minus t squared plus 2tx and then let's bring this thing to the denominator t to the power of k plus 1 dt. Good, so now we have our integral representation of our Hermit polynomial of order k in this case. Let's now see what happens if we make a substitution of this thing directly into the differential equation for Hermit polynomials. So for that, we obviously also need to calculate hk prime and hk double prime. So what I suggest you do now is pause the video, calculate two derivatives, substitute them into the differential equation, and hopefully you end up with zero. So taking the derivative with respect to x of this thing, so first of all, x does not participate in the integral, which is an integral over t, and we can safely exchange the order of the linear operations, which are integrals and, uh, and derivatives. So if we then take the derivative of the integrand with respect to x, we have for hk prime of x, k factorial divided by 2 pi j, an integral, of so the derivative with respect to x giving us 2t exponential minus t squared plus 2tx divided by t to the power of k plus 1 dt. That was fun. Let's do that one more time to calculate the second order derivative. We just have exactly the same thing, but we pick up an extra factor of um, 2t again. So we have 4 t squared exponential minus t squared plus 2tx divided by t to the power of k plus 1 dt. Okay, 
So now we are armed with all the ingredients to substitute in the Hermit differential equation, which reads h k k prime of x minus 2x h k prime of x plus 2k h k of x. And hopefully this gives us uh, a zero. Okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, since we're aiming for zero, I'm not going to bother to write this k factorial divided by 2 pi j anymore. And let's just look at the juicy stuff, which is the integral. So we have an integral of exponential minus t squared plus 2tx divided by t to the power of k plus 1. That's what they all have in common, obviously. And then we need to account for the prefactors here and also for the coefficients in our differential equation. So first of all, hk prime prime. Um, that will give us a 40 squared. So we have 40 squared. And then we have minus 2x, minus 2x here. And then we have hk prime. So this gives us a uh, 2t. So we have minus 4xt minus 4xt and then we have 2k 2k and then hk uh, not taking any derivatives so we're done here good dt question is is this integral equal to zero that's not straightforward to figure this out uh, you probably have experienced that when you were trying to do that when you were pausing the video so let me give you one extra hint here. Um, just for fun, why don't you calculate the derivative with respect to t, e dt, of a certain exponential function. I leave it to you to figure out what that exponential function should be. Divided by t to the power of k. So pause the video and see what this thing teaches you. The exponential is obviously exponential minus t squared plus 2tx, okay? And um, this is the derivative that we need to calculate. So let's see what's going on here. We have the derivative of a fraction. So that means, first of all, taking the derivative of the numerator, which is the exponential, which I'm too lazy to write here. So the exponential is sometimes some arguments and then taking the derivative of that argument with respect uh, to, um, to t. So that gives us, let's see, minus 2t plus 2x. Okay, so that was taking the derivative of the numerator, multiplying now by the denominator, t to the power of k, minus the numerator, and then taking the derivative of the denominator. So that becomes k t to the power of k minus one. And then the whole thing should be divided by the square of the denominator. Good. Um, yeah, let's simplify this a little bit. So let's bring out our exponential. And let's now copy that completely. So our exponential is present in both terms. So we bring that uh, outside. And then we have, uh, <clears throat> here we have basically minus 2t plus 2tx. And then we have t to the power of k divided by t to the power of 2k. So that becomes t to the power of k. And then we have minus k. And then we have t to the power of k minus 1 divided by t to the power of 2k. So um, that becomes t to the power of k plus 1. Good. Let's uh, yeah, bring this on a common denominator. Exponential minus t squared plus 2tx divided by t to the power of k plus 1. Ah, that's interesting. We have here something that looks suspiciously like what we have over here. I wonder what happens with the other factors. Would they end up looking like this? Who knows? Okay, 
let's uh, continue so we need to bring in an extra factor of t here we have minus 2t squared plus 2tx uh, minus and then we have k okay um does this look a lot like what we have here uh, actually it does there's a factor of minus two that we uh, can easily work with if we have our integral that we want to calculate that we divide it by two what we've just shown here is that this contour integral is the contour integral of this thing here because this thing is this thing divided by minus two but we've also shown that this thing you can write that as ddt of the stuff between brackets here of d dt of exponential minus t squared plus 2 tx divided by t to the power of k and now we're in business basically because we have an integral of a total differential here and moreover we have a closed loop so the end point is equal to the beginning point so therefore indeed this whole thing gives you a zero and as expected, this form also satisfies the Hermit differential equation.